Meantime, today the NTSB continues their investigation into that helicopter crash that happened in Second Ward that killed four people when it crashed into a transmission tower. ABC 13's Courtney Carpenter is live this morning near this scene with the details of what we've learned so far. Courtney. Hey, good morning to you, Brandon and Rita. Yeah, you can see uh, police still blocking the streets off all around this crash site here this morning. And what we've learned by speaking with folks in aviation is that, that there was concern about the lights on this particular tower. I'm going to go ahead and show you some video here. Though you can see in this video, there's a light at the top of the tower. The lights don't appear to be fully functional. We tracked down the company that owns this tower, SBA Communications, out of Boca Raton, Florida. They bought the tower just last month and say they were not aware of any lighting issues. Sky Eye reporter Tammy Rose says this is the tower where they've noticed lighting problems in the past. It looked like the beacon was on, but the surrounding lights um, were out. And I've been flying here in Houston for seven years, and it has been a problem. At least three times when I was flying, my pilot had to report to the tower that the lights were out. A longtime pilot we spoke to explains it's, of course, every pilot's responsibility to see and avoid all obstacles by either going around or going over. Still this morning, guys, authorities have not confirmed the identities of the four people who were killed in this crash. The NTSB did tell us the helicopter was on an air tour flight when this crash happened, and flight records show the helicopter made dozens of short trips recently, five actually on Sunday before that deadly crash. Now, as part of the NTSB's investigation, they are working to collect witness statements and any surveillance video. So if you saw what happened or have video of what happened, you can submit that uh, to in a uh, witness at ntsb.gov reporting live here in second ward courtney carpenter abc 13 eyewitness news courtney thank you for that update